Greetings, I'm Frederick, the micro-hobbyist, and I'm thrilled to welcome you to a captivating journey into the world of retro homebrew computers. In this series opener, let's delve into the core of my latest project. Thank you for joining me on this adventure. If you're here, chances are you share a passion for electronics, programming, or that nostalgic retro charm. In my past projects, I've developed various iterations of homebrew computers centered around the modern 6502 and the Z80. However, I felt the need to enhance the storytelling and share the process more seamlessly. That's why the series will be different, structured into bite-sized episodes, regularly delivered and scripted for a richer experience. Now for the big reveal. I'm on the path to create a new retro computer, and if you caught my Can We Talk About It live stream, you already know the CPU of choice. The 6809. Well, not the original 6809 per se, due to manufacturing constraints, but rather its Itachi license counterpart, the 6309, which packs a punch with its extra registers and instructions. Why opt for the 6309 over other 8-bit processors like the 6502 or Z80? The 6809 with its 16-bit registers, dual accumulators, and expanded capabilities already sets it apart. But the 6309 takes it a step further by introducing additional dual accumulators and more registers, including a 32-bit accumulator formed by combining other accumulators. So, what are the goals of this project? Fun tops the list, of course, but beyond that, I aim to explore operating systems like Flex, OS9, or Nitrous 9, enhance my hardware and software skills, and showcase the journey through well-organized and regular episodes. Now, here's a sneak peek at the project's direction. I aim to use readily available modern components, making replication accessible to all. Vintage ICs might make an appearance, but I'll tread carefully to avoid possible shortages. Operating under the philosophy of simplicity, I'll explore options like programmable logic devices for combinatorial logic. For now, I'll steer away from FPGAs for accessibility reasons. Considering compatibility with an OS such as Nitrous 9, I'm drawing inspiration from the Tandy Color Computer 3, with some features of the Coco 2. Some hardware specs include flash-based ROM, up to 2MB of static RAM, SD card interface for storage, Vintage ICs could include an MC6847 for graphics, an AY38910 for sound, etc. The list will grow and change as the project evolves. We'll use breadboards to build all of this, but what about the final product's PCB form factor? Will it be a single board computer or multiple cards on a backplane? The debate is on. As for the project's working title, I was goofing around with Super Infotron Microcomputer 2000 TM. It's a playful nod to the over-the-top futuristic names of the 80s. However, considering something less ostentatious, how about LogicSpark 09? I'm leaning towards that one. Lastly, I invite you to make the series interactive. Through the comments section, share your thoughts, ask questions, and be part of the journey. Excited about what lies ahead? Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and brace yourself for the upcoming episodes of 6309 Unleashed, 8-Bits and Beyond.